Hey folks, uh, this is Kyle Keo with a new video log for you. This is going to be the second video log in my weight cutting series, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about where my progress is on my weight cut. I haven't quite responded to the water loading that um, I haven't responded to it in the way that that I was hoping I would. My weight hasn't swung as much as I was hoping, but um, I'm still at a good weight. Um, Yesterday morning I woke up at 154.6, this morning I woke up at 154 exactly, and that puts me, because my weight class is 148.75, that puts me at 5 and 1 quarter pounds overweight waking up in the morning. And so that's pretty close to where I want it to be in order to make this a really easy weight cut. For me the question is never really will I make weight, because it's not a big weight cut for me, it's always how easy can I make this weight cut and how well can I execute the timing such that I arrive on site for weigh-ins exactly on weight. Because you also don't want to overshoot your weight cut. The more weight you cut, the harder it is to recover from it. So I don't want to come in at 145 or 146 or something like that. You know, I like to come in at 148 and that's, that's always my target goal. If I have to, I'll be a little conservative just to make sure that I'm on. But um but my goal is to come in right on weight. Um, so 154 exactly this morning. I made a couple of changes to how I'm performing the water loading today just for my last day in order to try to stimulate um, less water retention. The, the first thing I've done is I've switched from uh, drinking tap water to drinking distilled water and what that will allow you to do is that will allow you to number one flush sodium out of your system and, and number two um, because tap water has trace amounts of sodium in it, um, you're, uh, you're super hydrating with, with, uh, with water that has no mineral content, that has no sodium. And so uh, it'll allow your weight to drop a little bit more. So, um, so I'm doing two gallons of distilled water today and then a gallon overnight and into the following morning, at which point I'll, I'll cut off fluids at around 8 or 9 a.m. And um, so I think that's going well. The other thing I've done is I've introduced coffee into my uh, into my water loading process for today because coffee is uh, um, a good source of caffeine. I'm just drinking it black and uh, drinking it a few times today and caffeine will act as a uh, sort of like a low-grade diuretic and um, and so I'm hoping that that will stimulate uh, the evacuation of more fluids from my body so that I'm retaining less water. and. Uh, Actually, I think I've seen good progress over the course of the day. Um, I just weighed in before um, lunch at 154.6, and that's after drinking a ton of water and rehydrating from the previous night, in which my, my weight will obviously drop. So, so that's great. Um, I think my plan is to, uh, is to try and uh, um, uh, cut off fluid intake tomorrow at 8 a.m., cut off my... Uh, my food after breakfast, so I'll eat a light breakfast, and then that'll be that'll be basically it. And um, uh, I, I like to wake up at or below 154 tomorrow morning. I don't think that'll be an issue. Um, once I rehydrate, I'll probably bring my bring my weight up just a little bit. But I'm going to start early in the morning. I'm going to start around 5 a.m. Get myself flushing out fluids as much as possible, and um, and at 8 or 9 a.m. I'm going to cut it off uh, when I feel like I'm really hydrated. Um, and my, my body's, uh, you know, uh, going through fluid very quickly. Um, and uh, I think at that point, I'd like to be somewhere in the mid to high 150s. I won't be as high as 160 at this point, but, um, but I'd like to be in the 156 range um, without food uh, for the rest of the day and without water for the rest of the day and with my body still really trying to, uh, to evacuate water. Um, my hope is to go to bed uh, Thursday night at around 151, I think that's my target. And uh, I'm gonna sleep for eight hours, and then I'm gonna get up, and I'm gonna check my weight, and I don't know exactly how much weight will float off of me. I'd say a very conservative guess would be a pound and a half, so I'm gonna get up in the morning, I'm gonna hopefully be uh, within a pound of my target weight class, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the rest of that weight, I'm gonna sweat it out um, at, a, uh, at a sauna close to the weigh-in location, so. Um, I'll have five hours to do that. I won't need five hours. I'll need like an hour, or half an hour or so. So, uh, so that's the plan. Um, obviously, I want to try and cut it at the last minute because if I cut it at the last minute, then uh, it's really easy to put it back on. Um, the only concern is if you is if you screw up the timing and you end up 
missing weight because because your timing isn't right, but I don't think that's going to be an issue for me at all. Um, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, I've never missed weight, and I don't think this is going to be the first time. So we'll see how I do. I think I'm more concerned about overshooting it than I am coming in over because I will be conservative if I have to, just to make sure that I'm on weight. Don't want to compete at 165. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make sure I'm on weight. So, um, so that's where I'm at with my weight cut. I'll do another video tomorrow that will uh, sort of chronicle where I'm at, either tomorrow or Friday morning, um, one or the two. And, uh, and so I'll just talk about my progress. I think I'll do something tomorrow night uh, talking about what weight I'm at um, going to bed and how I ran through my process. So I think that might be instructional and, and useful for, for, uh, for the people watching these videos. Uh, I do want to talk about my post weigh-in recomp because I have, um, I have, uh, as of yesterday, I've gone out and I've purchased some of the foods and, uh, and some of what I'm going to be drinking, um, for, um, for my post weigh-in recomp. And, uh, so my plan is, um, <clears throat> Uh, after I weigh in, I'll start with fluid intake, and uh, what I've done in the past is I've done Pedialyte first, and you choose Pedialyte because uh, Pedialyte um, is, a, is a, a really, uh, it's a high pH and a high electrolyte um, water, um, uh, higher, higher certainly in electrolytes than something like Gatorade. Um, it, I'm going to choose uh, to drink Pedialyte first, so I'm going to uh, load with Pedialyte first, and uh, uh, I'll try to um, moderate my intake, so I'll, I'll take in uh, uh, a few pounds immediately, uh, I'll drink a lot immediately, and I'll try to hold it as best I can, and uh, then after that I'll sort of moderate my intake throughout the day. And uh, I'm going to go pretty much exclusively with Pedialyte at this meet. In the past I've done a dilated Gatorade solution, so just half Gatorade and half water, but uh, this time I'm going to go with Pedialyte, um, it, my Pedialyte is going to be, it's uh, a cocktail that includes um, uh, some salt, which sucks, but, um, but salt will help you uh, retain the water that you're putting into your system. So, um, some salt, some creatine monohydrate, um, and, uh, and some emergency, which I have um, <clears throat> this right here is my emergency, you can see it. Um, uh, just uh, uh, very high, very high in nutrients, uh, very high in vitamin C, um, uh, very high in electrolyte solution that will allow me to replenish the uh, electrolyte imbalance that I'm currently suffering by drinking, uh, drinking shitty diluted water all the time. Um, so, and I'll just run through that throughout the entire day, and then into uh, into the following day, I'll probably do something like a diluted Gatorade solution because uh, I'm not. At that point, I'm not in need. I'm not in that much of a need of replenishing electrolytes. Um, I, I think when I weigh in, I'm going to take you through exactly what I'm going to be eating. I think after I weigh in, um, I'm probably going to end up having these first. Okay, these are chocolate banana chips. Okay, um, good source of simple carbohydrates and also a really good source of potassium. And uh, so I try initially to replenish my potassium stores. I'll do that right before breakfast. And for breakfast. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is having some combination of uh, pancakes and bacon. Um, pancakes because, again, it's a, it's a high glycemic, uh, simple carbohydrate um, that will help me replenish glycogen stores. And uh, bacon because it's a cured salted meat. Um, you want to ingest as much sodium as possible as you're, uh, as you're trying to recomp because that sodium is going to help you retain water. So, so it'll be something like pancakes and bacon for breakfast. and. Um, I'll snack throughout the day. Uh, the goal is always to try and eat small meals regularly so that you don't um, early on make yourself full so that you can't eat or so that you can't drink later in the day. So um, it'll be a slow process. Um, I'm going to be eating some of these. These are protein bars. You know, they're, uh, they're not terribly exciting, but, um, but uh, a very dense source of protein and of carbohydrates and of calories. And, uh, and that's kind of what I'm looking for, uh, calorie-dense foods, high-protein foods, and, uh, and high-carbohydrate foods. Um, <clears throat> and so, uh, so I'll be eating a lot of protein bars. I got a few of those through the day that I'll be eating. Um, my plan for this meat is to eat high-protein and high-carbohydrate 
early on and off and on and then start to introduce high fat foods later because high fat foods of course take more time to, uh, to digest and they tend to sit in your stomach and so um, so my plan is to try and take in a lot of protein and a lot of carbs um, early on. Uh, the carbohydrates of course will also um, <clears throat> help you retain water so if you want to eat um, high and simple carbohydrates immediately after weighing in and, and straight through until your competition. Um, I will also be eating graham crackers or fudge covered graham cookies. Um, graham crackers are they're a good high glycemic carbohydrate with a, with a good insulin response. Um, Kefir from Dangerously Hardcore really likes eating them actually a couple hours after you cut off food and water because they, uh, they have a good insulin response. Or they stimulate a good insulin response. So, um, so I'll be eating some of those. Um, one of my secrets, and I picked this up from uh, <clears throat> from somebody else. Uh, one of my secrets to my uh, my post weigh-in recomp are these right here. Uh, I don't really like Doritos. I'm not a huge fan, to be honest with you. But uh, these are fantastic as snack food for post weigh-in recomp. And the reason is because per 11 chips, you get 210 milligrams of sodium, which is 9% of your, uh, your daily required value. And uh, so I've got lots of Doritos. I've got Doritos here. Doritos, Doritos, lots of Doritos. Um, be eating lots of Doritos, and uh, and the Doritos are fantastic because, again, another high sodium, simple carb that's going to retain just a ton of water. So. Uh, my plan is just to try to introduce as many of these foods as possible early on, get my weight way up, and uh, and retain as much water as possible um, to uh, to what they call bloating properly. Um, uh, later on, once I get towards the night, I'll start eating uh, some cashews. Um, cashews are they're a uh, obviously high in fat, high in good fat, and uh, and um, uh, uh, high calorie foods. So. Um, so I'll be eating those, but I'll be eating them a little bit later on. And uh, that's basically how I'm gonna stagger my eating. Uh, for lunch and dinner, I'll basically just eat whatever I want. Um, I will try to eat um, something high in protein. Uh, usually what I end up doing is I end up, if we go to a restaurant, I'll have, uh, um, I'll usually have like buffalo tenders or buffalo rings and uh, make sure I get them with hot sauce. And the reason for that is because hot sauce is really high in sodium and so that's another trick to uh to get my weight up and to keep it up um what i did for my first ever weight cut is i had uh um <clears throat> i had a uh, chicken and rice and i all of my meals were chicken and rice but it was just doused in hot sauce and uh the rice is easy to put down it's not difficult to eat so that made it pretty easy and the hot sauce just uh is, is a great source of sodium and um so so yeah i'll try and uh Whatever I eat for lunch and dinner, I'll, I'll basically just try and get try and get a lot of hot sauce on it. Uh, that's the basic goal. So, um, you know, when I do my post uh, my post weigh-in recomp with my with my food intake, I'm not an expert on it. Um, certainly not an expert on it. But uh, I do try to uh, allow myself to eat the things that I want to eat. But um, but I also try to make sure that they'll allow um, for me to put on as much weight as possible. And uh, so this isn't just guilty pleasure re eating. It's uh, somewhere between guilty pleasure eating and uh, eating for performance, uh, certainly with an eye towards performance. So um, anyway, that's all I've got. Uh, keep checking in. I will have another video for you soon. I will uh, maybe do a video tomorrow night talking about how far I am from my, uh, from my weight class and what I need to cut in the morning. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I'll talk to you all soon.